So we're at the kitchen. This is at Resorts World, and this is the all-you-can-eat buffet. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. And this is the kitchen. All right, looks lovely. Okay, so starting on this side over here, you have the steel cut oatmeal. This is all self-served, by the way. You also have some, it looks like uh, green grape raisins over here, too. Got some grits, plain grits here. Breakfast potatoes, okay, that, that's a Wonder Woman staple right there, some breakfast potatoes. Got some scrambled eggs. Chicken sausage, that looks, that's definitely my style right there. Hold up. All right. And you guys know I'm all about the bacon too. I'll come get some of that later. And then the breakfast hash here, that looks lovely. Oh, egg white frittata. I mean, that looks about your speed, egg white frittata right there. Hang on. Oh, awesome. And that's why she's Wonder Woman, guys. Best part of the channel, Spinners and Sharks. Thumbs up for Wonder Woman. Thumbs up for Wonder Woman in the comment section. All right, and then we have, oh, that's actually interesting. We have some overnight oats over here. So if you guys don't know what overnight oats is, it's like a special type of oatmeal that you make in like a little jar and it raises overnight so it's cold. It's very interesting. Um, what I'm more interested in is the yogurt Parfait over here, it looks though. Pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna get myself a parfait. Everybody loves a parfait. Yeah, you ever heard anybody say, "Hey, let's go get some parfaits," and people never say, "Hell no, I don't want no damn parfait." Come on now. Okay. Then you got the assorted fruits, of course. Fresh pineapple, fresh dragon fruit. Good stuff. Come back for a little bit of that later. And then have Belgian waffles with fruit on it too. All right. And then it looks like they got a breakfast casserole of some sort over here. I can't quite identify it. That's interesting. And then to end it all, they have all sorts of different pastries here. So yeah, we're going to take a little walk around. We're going to see what we want. And then I think it comes with unlimited juice, tea, and water too. So yeah, we'll probably just uh, fill up and uh, we'll rock and roll from there. All right, Spinners and Sharks, and we are back. So now we're actually going to do the tasting portion of things. Getting ready. Um, we'll go ahead and start with the basics. We will start with the scrambled eggs here. So what I do like about them, texture looks fluffy. It's a little dense. And it's got those kind of Tokyo style scallions in it too. They're the real small, fine minced ones. So we'll have a bite of that. So I do like those. Those are creamy. Those are smooth. Um, no seasoning in them though, and that's uh, that's going to be a theme throughout the video, so be prepared for that. Got some nice crispy bacon over here, a nice little piece of that. Eating with my hands, I apologize to everybody in attendance here for being a barbarian. But so far, so good. So it's not cherry wood or apple wood bacon or anything like that, it doesn't have that extra little sweet flavor to it. Still well smoked, so good stuff. Definitely pretty edible. So we're gonna try the breakfast hash, which is just the breakfast potatoes with a little bit of beef in there too. Some of that in there. It's not that bad. Um, beef is is uh, it's definitely well done. I would have preferred it medium, something like that. But obviously, in a hash in a buffet, you can't do that. Potatoes are soft and tender. And the peppers are there. Didn't do much with the peppers. Okay, we're also gonna do a little bit of fresh fruit. So we got some raspberries here. And then we got some pineapple as well, too. So we'll try some of that out. Try the raspberry first. Now that's a good raspberry right there. That is about as fresh as it gets. Yeah, this is, yeah. They got this right. Very fresh, very light. Need that all day. So that's a five out of five right there. And then speaking of which too, we're also getting that egg white frittata over here. Mm. So the frittata I'm not digging so much over here. That, that, that came in a little weak for me. There's not a lot of flavor. I mean, it's got mushrooms in it. It's got some spinach in there, a little bit of cheese. But um. 
know. The frittata, I'm not, I'm not feeling the frittata. I don't know. Honey, are you feeling the frittata? I haven't had it yet. You haven't had the frittata. You should have, have some of the frittata. Let me know what you think. Nothing special. Nothing special on the frittata? All right, so Wonder Woman says there's nothing special no, on the frittata either. Sauce, huh? Yeah, yeah, could, yeah give me some hot sauce. Yeah, give it some kick, right? We'll try and add a little spice. We've got the chicken sausage over here. It's a chicken sausage. That's a little different. So we'll try this out. It's interesting. It's got kind of a kind of a jerky flavor to it. I don't know. It doesn't taste fresh though. I don't know, what do you think? It tastes like it's a chicken jerky of some sort. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's very bizarre. Yeah, you might not want to. Jerky is probably not what you were expecting. No, I definitely was not. I don't know. It is an Yeah. So I'm gonna say no to the to the chicken sausage for sure. So the frittata and the, and the sausage are very disappointing. I'm gonna say no on those. The eggs definitely need some sauce too, though. But anyway, let's move on. Let's try something else. Okay, so here's the piece de resistance. This is what I was really excited about. I wanted to try the parfait because you know the grits. They didn't have anything in them. Grits are grits. You know you gotta you gotta flavor that yourself. You gotta get the cheese. You gotta get the hot sauce. You gotta get some shrimp in there too. You gotta get some bacon in there. You know you gotta get like salt, pepper. You got, you gotta make it its own thing. Grits are just if you ain't them playing, they're just grits. It's like ah, whatever. Same deal with oatmeal. You gotta get this. You know you gotta get the syrup in there. You gotta get the fruit in there. You gotta make it something special. So that's never gonna be special at a at a buffet. Don't expect that to be special. But here, this is what I'm looking forward to. We got this lovely parfait over here looks like it's i want to say blueberry on the bottom over here it might be raspberry it might be raspberry it might be strawberry we're gonna have a taste of it though we're gonna find out a little bit of the parfait mm. that's vanilla is that a strawberry yep that's for sure oh no that's raspberry that's definitely raspberry so if you're getting anything involving fruit you're in good shape over here. For the most part, the eggs seem to be pretty good too. Just the egg whites within themselves, they didn't season very well. So, there's that. And also, while we're talking about fruit over here too, here's an interesting take. They have watermelon juice. So I've never had watermelon juice before. Obviously, I've had watermelon. And I've had watermelon flavored things. They're usually terrible if they're watermelon flavored. I don't know why, just artificial watermelon tastes awful. So, we're gonna try this out. That is super fresh. It's a little bitter though. Definitely bitter. It's not sweet. It's real watermelon juice though. Like, I don't know how you juice a watermelon, but they've obviously done it. I'm not sure if I'd recommend it. It's definitely definitely kind of bitter. Um, I might try the orange juice instead. I don't know. Whose orange juice can I steal? Wonder Woman, can I steal your orange juice, darling? Have a sip of that. Is it really theft if I have a choice? I, I guess I guess not. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try the orange juice now. Okay, that looks pretty fresh too, very sweet. Yeah, got good citrus flavor to it. That was nice. The manager came through to, to come check on us there, so I like that. Leading from the front. Appreciate that style of leadership there. So that's good. And we were able to record that the chicken tasted a little off there, so they think they're gonna mention that to the guys and I think we're gonna get that sorted out. So that's really awesome. I love that they're very open to criticism here. That's outstanding. All right, Swinners and Sharks, we are back. We're back for a round two. They brought the pastries up over here. This is the lunch buffet. So they brought the pastries up over here and they also have some nice bread so you can pick up some of that. Butter to go with it. And then if we move immediately, to oh my gosh, they have sushi. Oh, is that sushi? Yeah, that's, uh, it looks like tuna. I think it's yellowtail. It might be, I don't know, but they got some fish and they also do have some shrimp over here too, so that's pretty awesome. Can I trade spots with your brother? Okay. Thanks, sir. Lots of salad over here. Can't tell what kind of salad. It's pretty well mixed though, lots of Parmesan on it. Um, there's also a nice garden salad over here. I have all the standard stuff, the tomato, the cucumber, your spinach, carrot dices, and all that good stuff too. So that looks amazing. Also have some more fresh fruit, pardon me, madam, thank you. Lots of fresh fruit over here, so this is definitely something to go for, 100% confirmed. And then we come over to the other side, pardon me, sir, thank you. All right, and this one I'm not too sure about. Also looks like, oh, I think that's actually fish. I think that might be salmon. I think that's a salmon. 
So we have that. We also have what appears to be some barbecue chicken. I think I am going to participate in that. Some of the barbecue chicken over here. There we go. That's how we do it. Lovely barbecue chicken. Put that back down in its appropriate spot. And then, is that what I think it is? It is pot roast. Er, er, er. There we go. There we are. Lovely. My pleasure, sir. Thank you. And then we have another little, oh, it's a corn succotash. We got some suffering succotash over here. Hopefully it won't be suffering. Looking forward to that, for sure. And then we got some broccolini. There we are. Lovely broccolini. And then we have some roasted potatoes. Something tells me that uh, Wonder Woman already picked those up. And then what appears to be a broccoli cheddar soup here. And I don't recognize the soup. This one also has some broccoli in it. They may both be a broccoli cheddar. I'd have to investigate that later. But yeah, but that is what the lunch buffet looks like at the kitchen. Now I gotta walk around and do and film the whole pool first. So I'm gonna walk this off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I gotta keep my girlish figure somehow, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, spinners and sharks. But here we go. We're gonna try this out now. We've got the barbecue chicken. It smells nice. Hopefully this is going to be better. I'm hoping it's not the same chicken as the sausage. The chicken sausage tasted it off. Oh. Much better. Much better. That's some good stuff there. Okay. Chicken is approved. Good, they bounce back. Hot roast over here. Oh, man. Yeah, that just comes apart. That comes apart. Good stuff. Almost had it. They almost had it. That's a pity. It's a little dry. It doesn't look it, but it tastes it. This particular cut of beef, I think, was a little too lean to do that with. That's a pity. All right, guys. There's another one. Corn succotash. Oh, that is fresh. Was that jalapeno? That is jalapeno. Wow. Or this has got some flavor to it. Oh, it's garlic, garlic broccolini. Okay, all right. So they got some, they got some flavor in here. They uh, they spice this up. That's pretty doable. That's pretty doable. The shrimp. Uh -huh. All right. I think Kay's got an opinion, but she's doing it off camera, so it doesn't color my opinion of it. <laughs> Wow, the taste frozen. It's frozen. They're doing so good. Wow, what a shame. I mean, I understand that you're in a desert, but you're so close, and everywhere else I can get fresh shrimp. Like everywhere else you can get fresh shrimp. So I'm not sure what it is. Wow, what a shame. What a disappointing way to end. Uh, shrimp simple. It should be simple and stunning, you know. I love, I love shrimp. I love shrimp. Like you know who does good shrimp, even cold? Um, Wind does, because you know, you know it's fresh, and then they, you know, then they'll put. I mean, obviously they got to put it on the ice to get it out there, but you can taste the difference. You really taste it. All right, and we are back from breakfast. Ronnie, what do you think, man? What do you think of uh, of the kitchen and their buffet? That yeah, was pretty good. You thought it was pretty good? Yeah, it was okay. I thought it was all right. Yeah. There's some disappointing dishes. There are definitely some disappointing dishes there. Um, overall, what would you rate it out of five? Um, I will good about three. Yeah, I think me too. I think that's about where I'm at. Definitely an average buffet. Um, not a lot of selection. Um, and they're still kind of hit or miss on what was good there. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, the breakfast buffet, definitely weaker. The lunch buffet, much stronger. So I guess it averaged out to be about a three out of five. The breakfast, I'd probably give it two. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. And if you sneak in at 1045, you can have the breakfast and it goes into the lunch. Just wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So there you go. So there's that. But yeah, there it is. So now you all know what to expect at the kitchen. All right, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video.
If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Are you planning a trip to Resorts World Buffet at its kitchen restaurant, or has this video encouraged you to go across the street to Peppermill instead? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva